What's up YouTube? Exotic back in my little space. Just built it. Kind of panda filmed off just a little section. Um, made this little PVC rack. I have a 12 watt uh, 6K bulb in here. Or 6500K, I don't remember which. Um, I've got my 80 site oxycloner up and running. And... I've already got two Ninja Fruit number six clones in there, and I'm going to go through the rest of the Ninja Fruit and the Bewitched. We're going to get cuts of all of them, and because I still see thrips, um, I'm going to spray all of the plants again. Um, while these ones were gone, I did give the other ones a couple of sprays, so they should be pretty much good. But now that these are back, I'm sure that uh, the thrips are probably back a little bit again, so um, we're just going to preventively spray them and then another three days we'll pull them all out and spray them again and should be good to go but uh, like I said we already cut two clones and we're gonna get in here and uh, we're gonna cut some more clones and let me get comfortable here figure out which one we're working with number one if I can get the tag back down in there now not having it. And then I'm going to clean up the undergrowth down here a little bit. This is an interesting structure compared to number six, being that I did that before I turned the camera on. Um, it's a bit different. This one's not quite as uh, developed down low, but that is okay for our purposes. And then, as you can see, we just trim off the two lowers. I did this with the other two as well. The stems are still short on these two outer leaves, so instead of just cutting them all off, which you definitely can, there's no uh, real wrong way to, to do it. I just snip them for transpiration. Same with these. We're going to cut the stem about equal length of my other ones. And. Oh. Oh, good job. We broke that one. <laughs> awesome. Well, as you can tell, shit happens, so that's why we were cutting two of everything anyways, so we'll be a little more careful. Same thing, we're just going to pull these leaves off. I'm going to do this over the trash can this time so I don't have to pick the stupid things up. That's a little better. We didn't kill that one. I'm going to stick it down in the uh, little collar. And they're all about the same height. We're going to add it to my chart. Me and my terrible handwriting. Alright, this one looks pretty good. So, we're going to bring it out. And I got the rest of them. Set it next to this one. We've got our spray bottle already. You do want to get the undersides. Thrips are on the other side of the leaves normally. Alright. Looks like 
think we got all of this one. And then... I let them sit out for a few minutes to dry so that the light doesn't burn them and then I'll put it back in the tent. grab our next candidate and slide right back in here. I'm just coming right in and plucking all the lower stuff. take that back. There's definitely a wrong way to do this. And it just takes time and finding what your plants like and don't like and you just kind of have to experiment and you'll you'll learn when too much is too much. Just somewhat trial and error. Definitely could use a little more light in here, but we're going to stop at the hardware store later today and see about getting a couple of hooks to put up in the ceiling so I can get the mother's little helper in here as well and uh, see what we can do about some light. Which one was this? Number four. And then this one needs to be watered. Well, maybe not. I just don't have as much dirt in that one. Alright, we're going to take this one over and spray it. I'm bumping into stuff here. Obviously, I don't have gloves on right now, and this is a spindicide or whatnot, so um, imperative that you wash your hands. Do not, you know, touch any, like, open wounds or, you know, touch your eyes and stuff like that. It would be really bad. Really bad. All right. So, three down, three to go. I'm fully expecting to have to pull some of these and I wouldn't be surprised if this will be one of them because this is probably the tallest of the bunch. They're, uh, they're not sexed yet though. It's a stretchy one though. Hopefully you guys can see that. Yeah, a little more bare, but that's all right. And then uh, I 
I didn't show it in the oxycone review video. It's got this little piece that comes off the pump down below and you can turn it for the max aeration in the water and they suggest having it at max so that's how I have mine set up. Just a quick little side note. Now that we got the ninja fruit done, we can start on the bewitched. And I've got the first of the six here. So, a little, uh, little different plant structure here for sure. A little bushier. There's a lot more undergrowth to get to. And mind you, I have not done anything as far as topping them. I haven't taken any leaves off. I haven't touched them since I planted them other than um, you know normal routine water uh, waterings. So with uh, a bit of training all of these will be some excellent excellent plants. Alright guys, that is everything finally done and cut in the cloner. Um, I was just going to do two rows, but I'm kind of curious with the air stones in different spots and stuff like that, and the pump. Um, I spread them out, I want to see how they root, if there's any difference in speed and, and vigor um, from the sides to the middle, stuff like that, because the pump sits right here and is shooting straight across, and then there's an air stone you know, in, in each of the four quadrants um, that are like centered. So, um, yeah, we'll see. We got a single, like I said, 12 watt CFL uh, bulb, you know, daytime veg spectrum type deal. And uh, we're just going to let these cruise along. So, you know, today is April 1st, and uh, as everybody will see this video, April 2nd, uh, yeah, we'll see how long it takes to root. almost done spraying and letting everything dry 
Um, I gotta spray the one that I just brought out, which is number six. And I can put them all in the tent, so we'll jump forward to everything being in the tent. Alright, just like that, we're back. It's actually the next day. After looking over my footage of the ending yesterday, I wasn't happy with it. You couldn't see anything, and I wanted to show you guys the plants a little more perky and uh, whatnot, happy looking after being sprayed. So, this side is the Bewitched. As we all know, they're looking really good. They're all pretty much the same, except this one is out at the far corner, not getting as much light, so it's a little smaller. Otherwise, they're all about the same. The ninja fruit, on the other hand, we have the one tall, kind of stretchy, you know, growing big, looking good. Other than that, we've got a frost giant number two in the back corner. We've got nine pound hammer, Jawa pie number one and four. Um, I pulled my pineapple express and I pulled my frost giant number one. Not gonna keep them, making room. As we can see, the net is starting to fill in a little bit. They're getting up above it, so starting getting ready to get ready to weave them over. If I could talk today, I guess. But um, I made a video showing you guys how to change the CO2 tank, the regulator, but you couldn't see anything because of a shitty GoPro angle as well. So I think it's time to get a chest cam instead of the head cam. So hopefully that'll alleviate some of that. Um, Side note, my temps stay in right about 73 degrees in here. Um, you know, the water temp is still 66 to 68. It's up to about 1300 ppms and climbing as they're eating. Um, no issue with anything growing in the res, nothing like that. Um, you, know, you can see the, uh, the newts turning the roots, you know, brown, red, whatever. Um, it's to be expected. 67 degrees it's working well I'm thinking about uh, getting a piece of tubing and putting it on the end of this and running it outside of the tent so it's actually maybe bringing cool air in to the pump instead of the warm air that's in the tent I don't know if that'll help and or work but I'm thinking I'm gonna try it um, let's go around to the other side you can see the two that we're getting rid of. I've got to cut them up and throw them away. I just want to see if I can get you guys a quick little glimpse of the root mass without disturbing the plant. You can see the stalks are uh, nice and thick, looking really good. I am uh, very pleased. I did top them one more time as they hit the net, so um, time to start laying them over. If we can get down in here. Yeah. Nice big old root ball. Looking good. Looking excellent. So, that is our update for the week, guys. Um, the flower tent is like day 43 right now because it is Sunday and this video is going up today. So, we'll do an update on it next week and. You know, beyond that, I'm still waiting to hear back from Ocean Grown for uh, the upcoming tester stuff. So, once I know what's coming into the garden next, uh, we'll let you guys know. As always, I appreciate the thumbs up and the likes and the support on the videos. If you're new, watching for the first time, please hit that subscribe button. Helps the channel grow. Helps me, maybe in the future, make a little bit of money from YouTube. But, I mean, realistically, it's like $2 a month right now. It's kind of cool watching it grow, though. But, I'm rambling. Thank you guys, as always, go smoke something awesome. I'm going to go up and smoke some Pineapple Express. Have a great Sunday. Peace.